Greetings, guitar engineers. I'm Desi Serna, and I want to show you how to use arpeggios on bass guitar. You just heard a portion of the song Grace Upon Grace by Brooke and Boggs. I played this song at church on Sunday, and as I was learning it, I really dug what the bass player did on the final chorus. The music is in the key of E flat, and the chord changes are C, B flat, E flat, and A flat. That's six, five, one, four, if you're familiar with the number system. The bass stays in the pocket throughout most of the song, focusing on root notes and locking in with a kick drum pattern. Yeah. But the bassist makes the final chorus climactic by introducing movement based on arpeggios. The notes that make up this line are C, E flat, G, and C. And these notes are right out of a C minor chord. They are the root, minor third, fifth, and root. And they lead to the root note of the next chord, B flat. From here, you step down in the scale into, and that's G, E flat, B flat, G, and that is the third root fifth and third of the one chord, E flat. And the G note at the end is a perfect half step lead into the next chord change, A flat. And that's how you use arpeggios on bass to add melodic movement and make chord changes sound more interesting. If you need to learn the notes on the fretboard and how to play arpeggios so you can do stuff like this, see either one of my books, Fretboard Theory or Guitar Theory for Dummies. If you would like custom video instruction that's calibrated to your current level, go to my website, guitarmusictheory.com. Answer the question I ask you about your playing, and I'll send you a free video course. Head to guitarmusictheory.com to enroll now. All right, thanks for watching. I'm Desi Serna. Before you go, be sure to like, follow, subscribe, comment, share, and all that good stuff. Then keep playing and stay tuned for more. <laughs>